Dear international students, welcome back to Full Scholarships. If you are not followed us on Instagram, please click the follow button here. Also, if you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, if you are new here, please press the subscribe button. Also, press the bell notification icon to receive the daily opportunities. You can get our today's scholarship link in Instagram bio or Instagram story. Also, you can message us on Instagram and ask for the link. Also, the link is in the video description below. You can check and comment down below also if you have any doubt. For today's video, we are discussing fully funded scholarship in Oxford University, UK. So it's for the session 2021 and 2022. You can pursue master's, postgraduate and doctoral programs under Claire Dunn scholarship. And this is one of the top university in the world and is very famous, the Oxford University. And you can be from any of the country and all the countries are eligible to apply. We have listed the courses here. You can check the courses and you can check benefits. Similarly, you can check the eligibility criteria. And here at the end, you can check how to apply section. To reach to this page, you can get the link from video description or you can message us on Instagram and ask for the link. After you reach here, at the end, you can check, visit the official website of Clarendon UK Scholarship. Click on that. Now, this official Oxford University page will appear where this scholarship is mentioned. You can read the details and for us to start, you need to only apply for the course in this Oxford University. You will be automatically considered for this scholarship. All you have to do is just apply to the course. You have to simply submit only one application only for course and if you are uh, getting an acceptance in your email a conditional letter will be sent to you in an email this scholarship will apply automatically to you so for getting the scholarship you have to click here on full-time applicants click on that and now this page will appear in front of you you can check the full-time applicants so you can check the graduate deadline applications and duration of the courses level of study and subject area you can check all details here you can check the courses page can be found here you can check so we have now found our course click on the courses and this courses page will appear in front of you you can check courses by a to z alphabetically or by department so let's click on a to z courses and wait for page to load after the courses page loads you can check all the courses mentioned here but you have to remember courses mentioned here you have to check the streams that you are eligible to get the scholarship similarly you can check your course and apply now for my subject i am looking for management course so let me find my course and get back to you so here i have found my course click on that and it will take you to the departmental website as you see the departmental website has appeared in front of us you can read the details about this course and similarly you have to choose your own course before we proceed if you are not subscribed our youtube channel please press the subscribe button also hit that like button so that we get encouraged to more the disclaimer of this video is the video is only for the educational purpose and details used in this are temporary none of the details are verified or any person so moving on to next session of the video you can check here at the end entry requirements resources funding and cost college preferences and here at the end you can check how to apply section click on that how to apply now click here how to apply after clicking on this button this will take you to the another page let's wait for page to load so here to apply for this you can check here apply now button click on that now the application portal has appeared in front of us if you have previously applied to oxford university you can use the same details to log in otherwise for us as an international student we have to create a new account simply click on this create an account here you can check the application portal is saying 
to fill these details. Let me quickly fill the details and get back to you. Click on continue. Select country. Click submit. Here you can check we have received a temporary pin on our email address so we have to submit that pin and proceed with the login. Let me quickly submit that pin and get back to the next page. After pin now we have to set a new password. After login you can check we have no applications here so simply click here start new application. Now choose an application type for the admission that you are looking like doctor, PhD, master's, postgraduate, anything that you are looking for. Simply create an application. Now you can check application status is in progress. So now we have to fill the all details. Click open application. Here is a disclaimer from the university that is data protection, it's privacy. So would you like to receive invitations by email say yes and phone calls let me suppose no and then click agree and continue. Now you can check the next process is here on the left side you can check you have to fill these sections personal details about you qualifications test scores employment history if you have any signature and review. Now which course you are applying to so I am applying in PhD management it's Nomenclature is something different in UK as it's default in management. Have you previously applied to this as we have not previously applied to any of the Oxford courses so say no. Are you current student at Oxford? If you are say yes otherwise as, as an international for us we are beginning so no. Are you a set business school open so we are not any alumni so as we have not mentioned any courses so click next and wait. Now here you have to choose the personal details and type your preferred name. These details are not verified. I am just showing you how to submit the application. You should use your own details to submit applications and do not copy paste any other details. Just submit your right details. I am just showing you how to submit the application process. Now choose your country and you have to read the details with some time and simply submit the perfect details. Now submit your ethnicity like Asian race as we are Indian. Submit your uh, religion. So if you have any different and you can choose similarly gender as we have no nothing to say simply click continue now you can check do you have any long term health or disability conditions as I have no you have to submit according to your if you have any disability then you can have a disability certificate to submit here you can get a benefit you will be getting some visa expenses separately you will be getting some extra care now where are you educated in the UK for your secondary education if you have educated in UK say no so is your primary or secondary education was in the UK as I was not so no do you, any of the parents got to have undergraduate degree if you have a parents have say yes or no I have so I say yes what is the highest level of the qualification of your parents guardians I say PhD and which of the following social economic categories to describe jobs of parents like what is your parent doing if you are government employee then you can submit that and I have to submit according to my so do you undertake any as um, undertake any degree? so I have not taken any so what were your main source for the living cost during undergraduate degree I say scholarship so I have spent more than three months in care of state local authority for kinship students so I have not so are you 
or have been charged to refugee status no do you consider yourself to be a stranger yourself a stranger so we define an ancestor as a someone who is no longer in country so I, I have contact so i am saying yes no i have to say no because i have family contact so have you ever been experienced some homelessness no so as well as have you had day-to-day -day caring responsibilities no i have not so residency status do you have a required so i require visa so simply submit the birth country and let me submit these details and get back to you in a while after filling the basic details select age and then continue now we have to submit the academic history simply add your school after submitting this academic history save so one required field is let me say distinction and then save submit other details let me submit these and get back to you after submission click continue now you can also apply for english test waiver request have you completed your uh, or completing full time qualification in, taught in english so it means that uh, have you completed your previous course in english say yes if you have otherwise you won't be eligible so let me support uh, like upload supporting documents that are like you have to get an english test certificate from previous institute stating that you have completed the course in english let me complete that so after submitting the that i have completed in courses in english submit so if you have any tests you can submit that otherwise click continue now uh, like you have full time experiences as i have to in my case and let me suppose submit the so you have to submit according to your let me add my employer after submitting my employer click on save details now you have to upload your resume here after that click continue now this is the important part we have to submit the research proposal essay and personal statement let me submit these upload these files and get back to you after submission of all the documents click continue now there is a funding so you can submit these two scholarships also hill foundation scholarship oxford center for islamic studies scholarship so isdb bank also supports this education aga foundation also supports this education so no upload is requirement for that so let me submit this oxford center for islamic studies after submission of all the documents if you do not have these just mark the tick boxes these are the additional two scholarships that you will be getting for this course click continue now here comes the recommendation part as you have to get the two recommendations from your favorite professor who knows you more and who and all the professors must be clear and precise about you let me submit the details and get back to you after that send to recommender now this email will go to recommender from oxford university that this student has asked for the recommendation letter simply continue now here comes the declaration part that i understand the legal processes and let me submit the name after that click confirm so here comes the three deficiencies that my application is possessing simply clear the deficiencies let me do that as i have completed all the deficiencies and all the documents have been uploaded now here comes the submission part click on submit application and you are you acknowledge that you are submitting application click ok so here i have submitted my application now i will open this funding section and i have to submit these details let me submit these details okay so i have now these are the awaiting that professors must come uh, confirm the recommendations and the transcripts let me you if you have missing any transcript then you can submit that let me submit my transcript 
now the recommendations are only remaining and i have submitted rest of the documents here so gmat gr is called be confirmed you have to submit all the uh, perfect details now you can preview your application proof also you can keep it a uh, copy of yourself so you can check my application here all details are mentioned similarly you can save yours so that was our today's video on how to submit application at oxford university under the scholarship of this claredon scholarship fully funded in uk so if hope you liked this video if you have any doubts you can comment down or also message us on instagram if you are not followed us on instagram please click the follow button if you are not subscribed to our youtube channel please press the subscribe button you will be receiving daily opportunities you can ask us any questions any doubts you have and if you need any document help in understanding the nomenclature some countries have different nomenclature in submitting applications so please subscribe give a thumbs up to the video thank you for watching this video